Each will train a hundred more. He also teaches them a new and deadly weapon. The bayonet. Bayonet fighting will prove pivotal in the battles ahead. Bayonets allow rifles to double as spears, making close hand-to-hand -hand combat possible without reloading. But it's not just new weapons and skills von Steuben gives the Patriots. It's a new attitude. You know, we can talk about weapons and how certain weapons change the face of warfare, which, which is absolutely true. But the greatest weapon that you could ever have is right up here. Men like Plum Martin leave Valley Forge highly skilled killers. While they retrain, another secret war has been raging in British-occupied New York. Here, a network of spies has been busy passing information to the rebels. Their leader is George Washington himself. A man who has come down to us in history as someone who is incapable of telling a lie succeeds as a commander in no small measure because of his capacity for deception. A British general will later claim that Washington did not outfight his enemies, but outspy them. Now his French allies come under deadly threat, and only his secret army of spies can save them from disaster. In New York, an estimated 20% of the population is still loyal to the British. Food costs are up 800%. One young woman in five is a prostitute. To the British, New York merchant Robert Townsend is a loyalist. A member of the loyalist militia, he writes for the loyalist press. But to Washington's spy network, his code name is Culper Jr., a fact that was only discovered in 1939. Culper's gang will change the course of the war. By July 1781, New York is buzzing with rumor. A French fleet has been sighted off Rhode Island. News leaks out that the British plan to send warships from New York for a surprise attack. Culper must get word to Washington to somehow stop the British fleet. The spies use invisible ink. An advanced formula unknown to the British, the ink is made from gallic acid. It can only be revealed by brushing the paper in liquid iron sulfate. The next link in the chain is Austin Road, a tavern owner from Long Island. His contact, Abraham Woodhull, picks up the message and buries it at a secret drop. Another agent, Anne Smith Strong, then uses her laundry as a secret code. It signals a sailor who picks up the message and takes it to Washington. Washington moves troops towards New York, threatening the city, forcing the British fleet to stay put in New York Harbor. The French fleet sails out of danger. It will play a critical role in the next stage of the war. Now, with a spy network and a modern army backed by French naval power, Washington is ready for a final showdown.
October 1781. Six years into a war the British thought would last six months, the American Revolution comes to a head at Yorktown, Virginia. In trenches around the fortified city, Plum Martin, now a sergeant, waits with 8,000 other Patriot soldiers for the signal to attack. Washington's army has reinvented itself with sharpshooters, with training, discipline, and new weapons, and with a spy network that has saved the French fleet, giving the rebels dominance at sea. What remains of the British army is under siege in Yorktown. Trapped in the city, the Redcoats wait for reinforcements. But back in Britain, the war is unpopular and costing far too much money. This is a case of hanging on uh, in the face of the, the British actions long enough to where the British literally would grow weary of this and realize that it was endless. This is Washington's chance to end the war with one decisive blow. He committed to this idea of being able to stand on your own. See, America is a dream, and the only way to go get that dream is to show up and bring your very best to that moment and not stop until you bring that dream into existence. Plum Martin will be one of the first over the top. Godspeed. Good, how are you? Good to check it out. Behind Yorktown's defenses, 9,000 battle-hardened British troops are waiting. protected by a series of outlying cannon forts called redoubts. By October 14th, just two remain. If they're captured and their guns turned on Yorktown, the British will be forced to surrender. This is look up there. It's time. All the batteries in her line lay silent. We lay anxiously waiting for the signal. Patriots race 100 yards to the British lines under fire and a hail of hand grenades. A force of 400 break through and storm the British fort. Fighting in close combat with bayonets, they beat the Redcoats back. Immediately after the fighting had ceased, I went out to see what had become of my wounded friend. He was dead. 
34 of Martin's comrades lie dead or wounded. But they've breached Yorktown's defenses. Two days later, the British surrender and begin negotiations for peace. For the past six years, leadership, training, weapons and intelligence have been vital. The rebels have achieved the impossible. The United States is the only country to win independence from the British in war. On April 30th, 1789, Washington is inaugurated first president of the United States of America under the new Constitution. But liberty comes at a price. Over 25,000 men have lost their lives in the battle for independence. But a new nation is born. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, and they are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights. And among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. On the next American...